Hello, we're going to do a three-way stove comparison for wood-powered backpack stoves. We bought a solo stove and we bought an Imberlit stove which is made from stamped sheet metal. We're going to do a water boil off between the three of them. So here's the solo stove. Keep it low. And the solo stove pot. We're going to use the same pot, I think, for both tests here. So this stuff comes with its own stuff sack. And inside is the alcohol burner that goes with it. Yeah, so the solo stove can burn wood or alcohol. We're going to try it both ways today and see how she does. Uh, burn ring and when it's running, that's what it should look like. Alright, so let's take a look at the Emberly stove. It comes in a flat package like this. We took it out of there and put it in a uh, you can see a Boy Scout put one together. These are optional. Okay, so that was pretty easy. One of the main differences between the two, the solo stove, if you're firing it from wood, needs to get fed through this little hole or from the top. The Emberlit stove is more of a rocket stove design and it has a, a feeding hole on the side. So that's what, a big part of our experiment today is we're going to see how she feeds. Pause me. is our solo stove with its alcohol burner. This is what you get. Nice little brass package. It's got this ring that goes on the top uh, with a handle so you can moderate the flame when you need to or kill the flame. Snaps on. It's got a lid with an o-ring inside so you can keep alcohol in here in your pack and it won't leak. We have uh, had alcohol in here for some time and it didn't leak. All right, so we filled this baby up with denatured alcohol. Goes in the solo stove body. Easy to light, and of course you can't see the flame because it's alcohol, it's invisible. But we can feel it there. Yeah, she's hot. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have 500 milliliters of water is a little more than two cups if I do my math right. And it's burning and, um, in the wrong place. It's burning the center. Huh? It's burning in the center of it. Yeah, that's the way it starts. Oh, okay. Uh, once, the, once the alcohol stove heats up, it's got little jets around the outside um, where it'll get to um, self-heating and, and um, pause me. Alright, the metal parts of the alcohol stove have heated up now, and so we're starting to get some uh, alcohol vapor shooting around the outside. So it's time to start our boil. The handle's pulled up nicely to fit inside the package. Starting the stopwatch. And it's 82 degrees out here today. The water temperature is 77 when I started it, and we're just a little above 4,000 feet elevation. So that happens. And you can also lock this little handle up like that, so it doesn't fall down. You don't have to use gloves to pick it up again. Tell me when it's going. It's going. Oh. We're running for eight minutes so far. You can tell there's a little breeze here. It's up to 157 Fahrenheit. And there is some visible flame now. Go. 10 minutes and 20 seconds. We've got pretty good boiling going on in here. Again, this is a little over 4,000 feet, so it's not going to boil it. It's high the temperature is at 212. It appears to be about 
197 Fahrenheit. It's definitely boiling. We'll call 197 and boiling our end point for these tests. 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Put that lid on there to kill it, kill the flame. Okay, test number two, we're going to light up the solo stove with some pine branches. These are ponderosa. They come off the ground or off a tree? They come off the ground. Okay. Uh, but it's been dry weather, so they're probably going to burn really well. Also, we're doing a test run with our new fire starting device here, which is a cotton ball dipped in petroleum jelly and then in, in paraffin wax. So on the inside is lots of good petroleum jelly. watching other solo stove videos you gotta cut your wood to the right length for the stove so hopefully we've done that here this is our first time actually putting wood in it so much like the solo alcohol stove the idea is to heat up the stove and get uh, airflow from the bottom these holes here and get a little secondary combustion up above the wood. Two and a half minutes since we first started this, and you can see some airflow coming from the inside jets now. I'm going to add a few more bigger sticks in there, and we'll put our pot on. Starting the clock. Go. All right, we're at uh, nine and a half minutes. I almost let this thing die once. I wasn't feeding it. What I've learned from this is our first time burning wood in this <clears throat> is you really do have to keep it fed with wood all the time. I just keep dropping chunks in there like that. It seems to be pretty happy. Let's see how we're doing. Definitely got bubbles, small bubbles boiling in there. One ninety. Give it a little longer. Let's oh. boiling hard now. So it's two o two. The time is ten forty. So it's pretty much a tie with the uh, alcohol. And this one would have gone a little faster if I hadn't let it die that time. The next will be our Emberlite stove. 
we'll get ready for that and be right back. So this is ember lit stove. You can tell this one's never been burned before, so we're not sure exactly how this is going to work. Uh, the main difference is once the pot's on here, we can't feed it from the top so well. We're going to feed it from the side. So it, it looks a little bit more like a rocket stove than the Solo did. We'll try it. It seems a little more natural somehow to, to light the thing from the side. So we'll see how that works. Starting it up here, we can definitely feed it from the top or the side. So this is a quite a bit different design than the solo stove where all the air is coming in with the fire. It really is just a rocket stove uh, made from stamp, stainless steel. Uh, my expectation is it'll take more wood. It's going to make my pot blacker than the solo stove. But the way it's going right now, it looks like it might be a little faster. So let's see how she does. All right, it seems like the flame's going pretty good now. You can see the convection is pushing that flame up. It's our rocket stove in action there. Another 500 millimeters of cold water. And we'll just feed the stove and see how she does. Starting the timer now. Go. Yeah, the sticks are burning down, so we're shoving them in farther. Two minutes in. Uh, lots of little bubbles in there. I guess we must take the temperature. Yeah, this one's really going. It's up to um, 138 already. Yeah, only two and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes now. You just keep feeding it these long pieces of wood. So there's a couple of advantages. One is you don't have to cut your wood up into three inch pieces. Um, easier to feed. Probably a little more of a fire hazard if you're in a, a dry area. The flames are really licking outside the stove there. Three. Lots of bubbles in there. Uh, at five minutes now, this one's this one's clearly going to blow the others away for for speed. What else you want to say about them, Justin? 
it's definitely is a more of a fire hazard. And one thing is it says the cross pieces are on the top are optional, but really it makes the pot a lot sturdier. And you might want to take them out when you're starting the fire, dropping things like the cotton balls in. But they're very easy to put in. You just stick them together and jam them in there, and they're all good. And it only takes a matter of seconds to take it apart and put it into the bag. And probably less than a minute to fold it up to take it out of the bag and turn it into a soap. Yeah, I really like how flat it folds. It'll go in your pack and won't take up any room. Although this nests inside its own pot, so it's not adding any extra room either. You still need the pot. Either stove, easy to get along with, but this one really is going strong. It's um, 202 degrees and it's boiling hard in there at only six and a half minutes, where both of the solo stove trials took over 10 minutes. So if you're in for speed, this is our clear winner. I think part of it is because you can put the wood in a lot easier. It's uh, not a very sophisticated stove, but it's getting the job done. Oh,